Do I even know how to do this anymore? My name is Kim and welcome to the channel where I share how I try to live my best healthy life while maintaining my 100 pound weight loss and sometimes just trying to lose those last 10 pounds. But you know, the struggle's real, the struggle is real. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day on a calorie deficit. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. That's totally awesome, I love you. Um, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on those notifications because let me tell you, I have some fun things in store, some delicious recipes to share and, um, like, oh my gosh, my tummy tuck skin removal surgery is in 12 days. Like, how did that happen? I booked it like six months ago, eight months ago, booked it, scheduled it, whatever. And now we're 12 days away and I feel like I might lose my bananas. So we are anxiously awaiting my breakfast to be finished and trying so hard, so hard not to drink a third cup of coffee. So I have in the oven right here, which you can't really see, some chai baked oatmeal with some pumpkin. I'm really excited about it. And it's about 8.15, which is really late for me to be eating breakfast. But as I prepare for my skin removal tummy tuck surgery, I am trying to do a little intermittent fasting. Now, I am not like necessarily an advocate for intermittent fasting. I'm just all about you doing you and like what's gonna work for you. And intermittent fasting has never been something that interested me because I become a raging if I'm too hungry. So yeah, but my surgery is at 11 a.m. and I'm not allowed to eat in that morning, like drink, have coffee, anything and I just like on top of the nerves like the hunger and the thirst and no coffee I just I see myself being a total mess so to at least alleviate one of those things the hunger I'm working on intermittent fasting and like slowly moving back like my initial meal of the day so yesterday I made it to nine but last night I stopped eating about like six so we're working on like a 14 hour fast, which is super, super good for me. And again, like do your own research, like you do you, you have to find what works for you. And if you love intermittent fasting, like go for it. And again, like I'm not doing this to lose weight, although like I had hoped to lose some pounds before this surgery and it's like, you know, whatever, whatever. But this smells amazing. And so I'm gonna tell you all about this chai baked oatmeal. So the recipe comes from eating bird food, but I totally adjusted it based on my preferences, what I had on hand. And so you start with two cups of old fashioned oats, and then you add cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, allspice, and cloves, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then I added about a cup of pumpkin, one egg, and two cups of vanilla almond milk. You mix it all together, throw it in the oven. I also added about a quarter cup of Swerve. The recipe called for maple syrup and coconut milk. Those are things that I wouldn't typically eat because I'm trying to eat in a calorie deficit. But the recipe on its own, which is linked in the description box down below, is perfect if you are trying to eat like whole wholesome foods or maybe you have a little more wiggle room in your calories because I am so close to goal and I'm not like doing hours and hours and hours of training like I used to. My calories are between like 1600 and 1700 and I don't even know if that's on the high side. I'm just trying to like not be starving but eat really well. I don't know. Here is that chai baked oatmeal. Now, if you divide this recipe into six servings, it is 136 calories, not a lot. So you can turn it into four portions. The recipe was based on six servings. And just like as an FYI, the eating bird food had, I wanna say almost twice as many calories 
because it used that coconut milk. It also had flax and maple syrup. So I really cut down the calories on that recipe because I used just like a quarter to a third of a cup of syrup. It's not overly sweet. So you could drizzle this with real maple syrup. The garbage truck is going by like real life or some sugar-free syrup, which is what I have. You could also serve this alongside some like egg whites or scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, like for some protein. But this is gonna get me started this morning and I'm not gonna wait to cook anything else cause I'm hungry. So I just opened the fridge and don't mind the mess. I discovered I had apple butter. So that's gonna add about 30 calories. My apple butter is from like a local farm, orchard, whatever. Cause I'm so bougie. Um, and so it's not sweetened. So that's what I'm gonna have with this. So this keeps the breakfast under 200 calories, gives me a ton of food, like room to like have something good later. I went for it. I went for the third cup of coffee. I just felt like I needed a little something. Can you hear Yeti? She's pacing around and around. And that's because she saw that I put on running clothes. I swear that dog is so freaking smart. But if I am gonna take her on a run, I am gonna need a little bit of a snack between my chai baked oatmeal and lunch. So I'm gonna take one of these Oikos triple zero, 15 grams of protein. So that was one thing that that breakfast was lacking was protein. So I'm gonna enjoy this yogurt. I'm gonna make myself a piece of toast as well. Hold on. Here is the bread that I have. This is brown berry organic, thin sliced, bread. It's 80 calories per slice. So this will come in. I think these are hundred calories each. Um, so right around a 200 calorie breakfast a snack, putting me at 400 calories for the day. Um, and it'll just kind of hold me over until lunch, get me through the run. Um, yeah, this time of year, she like gets super antsy. Like she knows, she knows. Uh, but what I loved about this bread is it's very similar and kind of taste, um, ingredients, and calories, nutrition, as the Dave's Killer Bread, but like half the price. So I've really gotten away from eating the 40 calorie bread. It's really great in a pinch, or if you really need to like be super mindful of your calories or wanna spend your calories on something different. Although it just doesn't taste as good. I find it goes bad super quickly. And yes, you can freeze bread. But this brown berry is really good. So I'm gonna toast that up. I'm gonna enjoy my yogurt. And I will say too, with this Oikos yogurt, Mark says he likes it better than Chobani. Yeti, what are you doing? She's just like, can you stop talking, eat, feed your face, and check me out? Yeti, what? What do you wanna do? Are you so excited? to do to like spend time like prepping a lunch and my friend slash like co-worker posted a picture from Hawaii he's in Honolulu and I was like dude that's just rude because now I want to be in Hawaii too and so like I was recently in Hawaii for work I know tough life and I literally lived on poke bowls and acai bowls because when you're in Hawaii, like you need to eat the things that you're not going to get at home and good acai and good poke just don't happen in Indiana, but this is like the best I'm going to do. So this is a poke salad. So no rice to keep the calories like reasonable, it has avocado, cucumbers, it looks like, I don't even know what's on it because I picked the Hawaii special. So 
I'm gonna like try to find some chopsticks. I asked for utensils and they gave me a fork. And like, you just can't eat poke. Yeah. You can't eat this with a fork. Like you need chopsticks. So this is probably like 400 calories, well, give or take, which puts me about 800 calories for the day, which is like awesome sauce. Do you know what time it is? Snack time. All right, for today's snack, we're gonna have something just so special, so amazing. It's popcorn. Who does not love popcorn? I love it. So this is light popcorn from Target. It's super fancy, it's super exclusive. Not. Nah. Um, I'll eat about half the bag, it's like 100 calories. You know, like the full size bags are so much cheaper that it's almost better to just throw out half the bag. And to make sure I get enough protein, I'm gonna have this Alani New Fit Shake Munchies flavor. I probably wouldn't be drinking it, but somehow Mark brought it up from the basement. I think he meant to take it to work, but now it's mine. Ha! I'm sure he's sad about it. I do plan to stock up on protein shakes ahead of my surgery. I have no idea why, but the nurse did say that protein helps with like the healing process. I had come up with this idea before I talked to her and I have my pre-op appointment next week. So I'll have like more evidence to substantiate this desire to stock up on protein drinks. It probably won't be a lot new because they're expensive, but I'm gonna drink this, make some popcorn and um, just keep working. Like I'm actually being really productive today. So I'm pretty impressed with myself and I'm gonna credit the Uber Eats my investment in my work life was amazing and my nutrition. So much protein in a poke bowl. So much. You ready? channels that is Kara and Nate and they're like super famous travel vloggers but they lived in a van during 2020 and Kara kept posting this peanut butter ramen so I'm super excited to do maybe just a little bit of a different take I don't live in a van I don't have to worry about stuff so we're gonna just put a little sesame oil in the pan you can hear it sizzling so I've already cooked up some fettuccine and I also made some salmon in the air fryer so I'm adding to this just a little squirt of ginger. And then we're gonna add some garlic as well. This is gonna come together like super quick, okay? Super quick. So we're gonna add our pasta back in to the pan and we're gonna throw everything in to the pot for this peanut butter ramen. That's Half a quarter cup of water. We're gonna add soy sauce. You can measure this out. We're gonna add a little bit of honey, just for a little sweetness. Balance out that soy sauce. Hopefully make it so my kids eat this. We're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. The recipe called for rice wine. I don't have it, so just a couple splashes right there. I need to take my pasta thing and stir this up. Mark is like moaning in the background. I don't know if that's the right word. That's the word we're gonna use. And then I need to add some lime juice and Mark is gonna cut so I can like, okay. Like, dude, why did I decide to open this right now? We're gonna add just a little bit of lime juice. And then if, Kara were making this, she'd add a giant scoop of peanut butter. 
But to keep this on the lower calorie side, we're gonna add about a quarter cup, half cup of PB2. So we're gonna keep this little thing short. Our friend is here to fix our garbage disposal, um, which is more important than me telling you about my dinner. Um, peanut butter noodles, salmon, this is what it looks like. If you can't see it, use your imagination. So I'm about 1,400 calories for the day. So for the me, that's not enough, especially because I ran today. So I'm enjoying a bowl of cereal. Can we normalize eating foods that we love, like taking things off like the forbidden food list? I went way too long not eating cereal. So this is the special K with like yogurt and berries, some almond milk, brings me to about 600 calories, 1600 calories for the day, 600 would be bad. And it's about 6.30. So this means that I will not have to wait super late tomorrow when I'm like ending my fast. Here is a little life update at 7.35 p.m. Garbage disposal, not fixed. Yeti, eight mark salmon. I'm still kind of hungry, but I'm like starting my fast. So I'm drinking peppermint tea. It's amazing, life is great. So, but I'm back to filming and that is really awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tell me something awesome in the comments down below. Hit the red subscribe button, turn on your notifications. And until next time, just drink a ton of peppermint tea because you love it.